strongly believe that the focus that we've had on climate change and water all those years has helped us a lot, both in uh, increasing the international awareness of the challenges, the linkages, uh, but also helping ourselves in understanding the closer relationships in a better way. Um, without going into any more details on this, um, I would like to introduce to you Heng Van Scheidt from the Cooperative Programme on Water and Climate, Alain Nicole from the World Water Council and Paul Alexian from CIVI to present the message from the Climate Days to us as they came out from the closing high-level panel that was held yesterday afternoon.
the Fifth World War Forum in Istanbul, and during dialogues held at the climate change negotiations. Reflecting these efforts and the urgent need to ensure that the global community is adequately prepared to respond to climate change, the following messages are conveyed, conveyed from Stockholm to Copenhagen. Water is a key medium through which climate change impacts will be felt. Managing the resource effectively, including through well-conceived IWRM approaches and at transboundary level, the theme of this week, is central to successful adaptation, planning and implementation, and to building the resilience of communities, countries and regions. Adaptation is a prerequisite for sustainable development and poverty reduction. Adaptation measures thus need proper integration within broader development goals and objectives, including the Millennium Development Goals. Integration of water with land and forest management is key to effective adaptation. We strongly endorse the Nairobi Statement on Integrated Land and Water Resources Management for Climate Change Adaptation. We also emphasize that water-related adaptation can and should support global mitigation actions. Ecosystem protection and sustainability is fundamental to adaptation and human development. We therefore urge increased efforts towards and investment in the protection and restoration of natural resources, including water, as an essential part of any adaptation process. Higher quality information that is more effectively shared will strengthen responses, and this is very relevant for the World Climate Conference to be held in two weeks in Geneva. In particular, there is a critical need for the water and climate communities to increase the sharing of information at all levels, policy and practice, from global to local and from local to global. Vulnerability assessments and risk management are critical to sound adaptation practice. Knowing where and how the impacts of climate change are most likely to affect populations and ecosystems through the water cycle will help in the identification of areas for early intervention or hotspots. These include arid regions, areas with highly, highly dependent on groundwater, small island developing states, low-lying deltas, and fragile mountainous areas. New and additional funds are essential. It's imperative that additional funding is allocated in support of developing adaptive strategies for vulnerable groups and ecosystems. There is a need for an initial mobilization of finance to assist vulnerable low-income countries already affected by climate change, followed by the, by the establishment of a well-resourced mechanism for funding adaptation as part of ongoing climate negotiations. Following up, we urge the global water and climate communities to look beyond COP15 and work through dialogue to strengthen global mechanisms that can enhance collective action on water and adaptation. This should include, but not be limited to, better sharing of knowledge and technology in support of adaptation measures in developing countries, active support for capacity building, and access to improved levels of financing. Finally, the water community expresses it com its commitment to strengthening institutional cooperation at all levels between the climate, water and wider development communities under appropriate mechanisms and institutional arrangements in order to work more collectively to address the immense development challenges ahead. Thank you very much.
much in Duhen Corinne and Alain for working with this uh, and with the two climate days. Now you have listened to the presentation of the message and you have received the text in writing. What I would like to do now is to offer you the possibility to express your support to this message as individuals, as participants of the World Water Week, not in the capacity of your organization, your institution or your country. Uh, if you would like to support it, we would refer to this as supported by the participants of the World Water Week. And we will make that very simple by just raising our hands. Uh, if there is an overwhelming majority for yes, we will say that it was supported by the participants of the World Water Week. If it's a just majority, then we will say it was supported by many. And if it is a minority who supports it, we will forget about it. Uh, <laughs> there will be no statement in your names. Uh, only the message as it is now coming out of the climate days. And I will ask you if you support it, and I will ask you if you do not want to be associated with the statement. Those who would support the statement, raise your arms, please. Those who would not like to be associated with the statement, please raise your arms. I thank you for this. Thank you all for 